everybody, it's my man the rights, as in know yours. Today I'm going to put down the ukulele, the ukulele, it doesn't really work anyway, and just talk to you as a person, an actual person, and I need to remind you, I am a mother. Did you know I was a mother? I'm a mother. I have uh, three kids, uh, clout, uh, accountability, and what is my other kid's name? Noah! Oh yeah, that's what it is, Noah! Um, and I, um, you know, uh, I have this, we, we worked on our, um, our, um, our hand turkeys that you can barely see, because this camera's terrible. Um, and, uh, we came up with three facts to put on our hand, our hand turkey, and two opinions. I'm just gonna read you the facts. I am gonna make the greatest comeback in the history of YouTube. Fact number one. Fact number two. Anybody that disagrees with that is a traitor, and traitors back off. And number three, I may make the best vegan, gluten-free, plant-based chocolate cookies in the world. Those are all irrefutable facts. And here's one of them right now. Um, so it was one of my kids' birthdays uh, the other day, and we went on this really cool um, McDonald's train. It set up all these, like, old classic McDonald's characters, like Birdie, and the Fry Kids, and Grimace, and, like, the, um, the seats are set up like, uh, like Happy Meals, um, and you, uh, so yeah, there's like four people can sit in, like, a Happy Meal, and then the, uh, but the doors take a while to open because they're made to look like the ice cream machine, so they only work about 25% of the time. So, um, we were having this nice train, and all of the characters tell you stories, and we're having this nice train to visit, and then, like, one of the, uh, there was a tire on the track, and, like, you know how uh, McDonald's always has, like, you know, they call things Mick or Mac, and so, like, the tires were, uh, made to look like Big Macs, so this big McIntyre we came in contact with, and the McIntyre slightly, uh, derailed our train and, and took us off course, but we got back on course and we had a great time and, and we're going to be on this straight and narrow from now on. You can believe that. And um, we also, uh, I took up, uh, I started collecting rocks. It started by accident. What happened was I, uh, I loaded uh, rocks in my pants and uh, I was going to take a nice uh, walk in the creek. And then I was like, man, these rocks are kind of pretty. They might not be discovered by anybody for like thousands of years. So I pulled the rocks out, I walked out of the creek, and I went uh, went back home. Um, I also bought some chickens. I've got a chicken named uh, Accountability, Boundaries, and uh, the artist formerly known as Chicken, and Alexa. Alexa is named because my youngest child can't say Alexa. It comes out Alexa. So, so, um, anyway. So, one day, like, the, um, the artist formerly known as Chicken, like, put a claw onto Boundaries and kind of gave him, like, a, this cross on his, you know, little chicken face. I was like, man, why did, uh, why did the artist formerly known as Chicken, um, cross boundaries and it was to get to the cheese balls and I was like oh man don't cross boundaries like that and violate somebody for cheese balls what the hell's wrong with you and uh so then um like later on somebody swooped into the chicken coop and they took uh Alexa and accountability and so I went uh I tracked this person down and I said, hey, what did you do with my chickens? And they're like, well, first I'm going to give you a lecture. And then they talked for like an hour. And I'm like, I thought they said they were just going to give it to me. And then they said, you have, to, you have to earn accountability. So I just left and bought a new chicken. Anyway, my little, my little meanies, I'm signing off. It's. Miranda writes, 
Everybody have a sparkling day. Bye-bye.